Hello again and thank you for joining Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations in association with Vintage Mopey World. Well here we go for the second part of the strip down. Um, it's a lot better the weather today, it's a bit windy and I've just taken the Suzuki out so we're going to try and work in the shed. Um, yesterday was I had planned to do the, uh, the strip down but it was a miserable damp drizzly day so I've actually ended up doing the uh, clearing up the sofa which is gone and the pallet and it's just still got the uh, gearbox to get rid of but uh, the scrap metal people do pay some money for it so I'll be taking it around there so uh, oh, there's Jenny eating her bone down there she's quite happy and uh, we'll get on and finish off the strip down and see how we get on with that Well, here we are in the shed now, a little bit more comfortable. Well, the doors are open. It's not particularly cold, but it's out the wind anyway. Uh, I think the next thing I'm going to try and do is remove the handlebars. I'm going to leave this uh, this steering mechanism right to the very end um, and probably do that inside because it's, when we get the ball bearings out, I need to count how many ball bearings are in each one, put them in a little bag. So I'm going to take off the actual handlebars now. I've released the brake cable for the front, um, there's a couple of electrical connectors here which will need to come off and also take out the slider mechanism for the uh, carburetor. That carburetor will need a, a very good clean by the looks of it. So I'll get that out, um, unplug the two connectors, pull the brake cable through and then we can just actually get the whole mechanism off completely with uh, everything in situ to sort out later on and then we can concentrate on the wheel and finally get back towards the engine. Well there we go, there's the top of the carburetor. You find something different every time, it's quite unique isn't it, slider being square. But uh, okay, so that's, we can get that off. Um, I think we're going to have to pull some of these electrical cables through as well. But let's see, I can, um, I'll try and get this off now uh, the actual handlebar section and then we can get on with the wheel okay so to get the handlebars off we've got these uh, allen type uh, bolts just hopefully they're all coming up Okay, so I'll get on and take these out and see what we're left with. Well, I've got the handlebars off and you would have thought there would be captive nuts under there, but unfortunately there's not, there's just normal nuts. So um, that's off, but um, all the wires are pretty much ready to come through now, the cables and that, but uh, a lot of the electrical ones are actually stuck under here. <clears throat> so I think the next stage will be, before we can do that, will be to get the engine out. So uh, let's uh, let's start on that. Well, it appears to just be two bolts holding this on. So um, I've got a socket for it here. Uh, this is a it's a 13 this side and a 14 on the nut the other side. So um, let's give this a go. There we go. One nut. Okay, and uh, one more. Let's let me just get this out, and hopefully we can drop the engine. Okay, that's two bolts out. I think it's firmly wedged in it. So I don't know if that's any more to come out, but let's see. 
dark thing. Anything else? Yeah, looks like we've got one more bolt down here to get out. Let me just get that one out and uh, and that will definitely do it, I think. Right, after that last bolt out, that's the whole engine dropped. I was able to pull the wires through now, so this should just come out nicely. Quite a nice, neat little engine, actually. It's a Minali um, V1. So, um, yeah, hopefully, I mean, it was good compression when I turned it all over. So, uh, I'm hoping for a clean, but yeah, don't we? Nothing ever goes right. So let's just get this one onto the bench. Okay, with the engine out of the way now, which has released all the cables, we should be able to get this away. Uh, what have we got here? All the wires, whether they go through there or not, I don't know. I can't see them going through this little loop here. So it bends open. Anyway, bear with me. I'll uh, get this all off and uh, we we'll move on to the wheel. Right, so let's get this uh, last few bits now. This is the mud guard and then finally the wheel. This seems to be uh, just a screw in, which is better than the nut the other side. Let me just get these out and then that will get the mug guard off. Just the same the other side. Okay, so that's those three bolts out. So hopefully this will come out. There we go. I'm glad to see this uh, little bit is separate. Uh, I need to try and find some sort of badge or something for that one. At least that does come off so we can do something with that. Right, okay, uh, to the wheel now. Okay, so uh, 17 mil socket here. Yes, one wheel, tyre rather. Uh, might be able to repair it, but no, lucky I've got new ones, so we'll, we'll replace that. Right, okay, so uh, we're down to this suspension part now. Um, I'll leave the swing arm on, obviously that's just two bolts, one bolt to take out, and I'll leave the stand on for now, that will and they need to stand up for now. So, uh, right, I'll uh, try and just finish off with this. And I'll say this one with the uh, ball bearings and all that, I will do separately a little bit later on and get, so I can count all these ball bearings. I don't want to lose all those. So, uh, okay, let's just see if we can get this out and, uh, and then we'll call it a day. I've just loosened these two clamps here. So hopefully this will just knock out. I've also, loosen these headlight clamps here uh, so that should slide off so I just need to remove these top two I hope it's not too tight okay one more Try and get these down for this. They're quite rusty, so oh, where's that gone? Right. Take these off for now. So 
to do. Right, now we need to somehow tap these down. A uh, bit of WD-40, bear with me. Okay, well, a bit of persuasion and uh, some WD-40. Make sure start get that out. We'll take this right, in a minute. Okay, I can come off now. Right, okay, that's one off. Okay, and I'll persevere and do the same with the other side. Well, after a struggle on the second one, that's finally out now. And uh, so this, as I say, I'll just carry on with a little bit later on. Just I need to make sure that I don't lose any of those ball bearings and work downwards. And uh, still got the swing arm, but that's only just uh, a bolt to take that out. And the stand, but I might as well just leave it on the stand for now, just so it was stand up in the shed for now. So there we go. Uh, strip down is just about complete, and uh, all the hard work uh, will start shortly. Well, there we go for a, another week, and uh, that's the strip down complete. Now all the hard work begins. Uh, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you didn't find it too boring. Sorry, there's Jenny sneezing behind it. There she goes. Um, so um, I do hope you did find it too boring. It's stripped down is a bit of a pain, but uh, we can start to get on and uh, muddle on and get things done now. Uh, I'd like to thank all my subscribers. Uh, it's gone up quite a bit over the last uh, well, week or two, and uh, so thank you very much. And thank you for your comments. Please uh, hit the like button if you do like any of the videos. And please leave a comment and uh, I'll answer you all back. So until the next time, you take care and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.